Did you know that a typical smoothie can contain as much sugar as three cans of soda? Quite a shocking revelation, isn't it? This sweet, fruity concoction that's often hailed as a health elixir can actually be a sugar bomb in disguise. We're not here to demonize smoothies, but to shed light on some hidden truths. This is the start of our journey into the five reasons why you might want to reconsider your daily smoothie routine. Stick around to discover why it might be time to rethink that daily smoothie habit. First up on the list is hidden sugars. Beware, smoothie lovers. Just because it's a fruit-filled drink doesn't mean it's free of sugars. Many smoothies are packed with hidden sugars, stemming from ingredients like flavored yogurt, sweetened milk, or juice. It's easy to overlook, but these sugars can add up and impact your health. Be mindful of what goes into your blender. Opt for unsweetened ingredients and whole fruits. Remember, when it comes to smoothies, less can often mean more. Next on the list is the lack of fiber. Now, here's a juicy tidbit. When you blend your fruits and vegetables into a smoothie, you're actually reducing their fiber content. Yes, that's right, fiber, the very thing that's essential for digestion, can get lost in the mix. It's as if you're throwing away the broom that sweeps your digestive tract clean. So, while that smoothie might taste divine, it could be shortchanging your system. Remember, your body needs fiber to function properly. Thirdly, we have calorie overload. Smoothies can seem like a light snack, but they can be surprisingly high in calories. When you blend in ingredients like nut butter or seeds, the calorie count starts to climb. And let's not forget the sweeteners, they can add an unexpected punch to your daily calorie count. It's easy to overlook, but just one of these smoothie concoctions could be equivalent to a full meal's worth of calories. So remember, always keep an eye on your calorie intake. Fourth, we have nutrient deficiency. When we rely heavily on smoothies for nutrition, we risk missing out on essential nutrients not found in fruits and vegetables. We can't forget about proteins, healthy fats, and certain vitamins that our bodies need. These nutrients are crucial for maintaining our physical and mental health. Fruits and vegetables are wonderful, but they can't provide everything. So remember, a well-rounded diet is more than just your daily smoothie. Balanced meals are key to maintaining good health. Fifth, we have too much fructose. This sweet little devil hides in our beloved fruits, and when we overconsume it, we're inviting some serious health issues to the party. Weight gain? Check. Heart disease? Check. Diabetes? Double check. It's like a masquerade ball where the masks reveal unwanted guests. Fructose, in moderation, is a part of a balanced diet. But when it's partying hard in your daily smoothie, it's time to tone it down. Remember folks, moderation is key when it comes to fructose. To sum up, while smoothies can be a convenient way to get your daily fruits and vegetables, they may not be as healthy as you think. Let's stroll down memory lane. We've unveiled the surprising truth about smoothies. They're often lauded as health elixirs, but the reality is more complex. Remember the hidden sugars? Those sweet, refreshing sips can be a deceptive source of sugar, turning your healthy habit into a sneaky sweet tooth indulgence. Then we delved into the lack of fiber. It's easy to forget that when fruits and vegetables are blended into a smoothie, a lot of the fiber gets left behind. And fiber, as we know, is integral in aiding digestion and keeping us feeling full for longer. We also touched on the risk of calorie overload. Smoothies can pack in more calories than you might realize. A seemingly harmless blend of fruits, yogurt, and a dash of honey can quickly rack up the calorie count, potentially leading to weight gain over time. Nutrient deficiency was another point of concern. While smoothies can indeed be a source of essential vitamins and minerals, they shouldn't replace whole foods entirely. Our bodies need a diverse range of nutrients that a single smoothie can't provide. And finally, the issue of fructose. Consuming too much fructose, a type of sugar found in fruits, can lead to health problems like obesity and type 2 diabetes. Yes, even the natural sugars in fruit can be harmful if consumed in excess. But don't despair. This isn't a call to banish smoothies from your life completely. Instead, view it as a gentle nudge to be more mindful of what goes into your blender. Consider the types and quantities of ingredients you're using. Opt for less sugary fruits, add in some leafy greens, and don't forget about those all-important proteins and healthy fats. So next time you reach for that blender, think twice. Your health will thank you.